Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another Howler for an Hour. Today we're checking out Soda Crisis, which is a game which takes place when Pepsi is in danger of being removed from the market. No, I don't know. Uh, this is a game that is a very action-y, side-scrolly shoot-em-up game. I don't really know why it's called Soda Crisis, to be honest with you. It seems like we're kind of robot people killing robots and stuff. I don't know. We will see what the Soda Crisis actually is. I'm kind of intrigued by that. But it looked pretty uh, frenetic. It looked interesting. Want to check it out. It looked like it could potentially be a fun kind of Contra-esque game. So we'll see what we'll see what it does. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. I'm trying to reach partner, but we always need more viewers to actually reach that goal. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so. It makes a difference, and we'd honestly love to have you. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. Now, let's go ahead and press the key to continue. Like like the key that is on my controller. Hey. <laughs> San Cola. Original taste. Without sugar. I prefer original taste. Thank you very much. So what is the what is the crisis about soda? A millennia ago, there was soda. Okay, four four hundred. Yeah, there's there was four thousand eighty sodas. <laughs> the, here's the cubes that make, they, that are melted into soda. That's how soda is made. And now we are soda. Hell yeah. Simple enough. Let's see what we got. Well, first off, I got fucking Sonic moves here. All right. Can jump once. Can fire. In lots of directions. Can use a lightsaber in multiple directions. Can grapple? Yes, grapple. Okay. What else can I do? Can also do a little slide, which might be have iframes, I don't know. Alright, cool. I figured out the commands. Let's go. Little leggy? Are you guys having leg? It's always hard to tell if that's the Discord preview or not. Alright, hold on a sec. Don't worry about it. There was nothing important. We just I was just testing the controls around the room. Uh okay, hold on. Sound is delayed? Well that shouldn't be the case. The service of Umbrellios? Okay. Oh, actually, hold on. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Clearly, all these some, 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 some of these are causing issues. I assume. Uh, let's see. Hey, I wonder if that's any better. Nope, that doesn't seem. I don't know. Actually, hard to tell. It's okay. Uh, let me try. I'll lower the resolution, why not? Doesn't actually affect much for you guys if I do it like that. There we go. Alright, how's that? Is that better? I feel like that's better. Let's resume. Were the frames broken for everyone? Actually, Crypson, were the frames bad for you as well? What the hell are these little guys? So, were the frames broken for everybody, or did anybody have it? Was anybody having a smooth frame rate earlier, or was it just everyone? It got choppy while shooting. Okay. All right. Well, is it good now? Is the question. Let's see. I'm gonna shoot. Yeah, that looks better on my preview as well. I just lowered some settings. So I don't know. Might be one of those games that just doesn't know how to handle its own intensity very well. Let's see what we got. Eight. How much does the uh, lightsaber do? Fifty-four. So eight damage for bullets, fifty-four for the lightsaber. Okay. And how is the volume? Actually, you know what? This is giving me. Actually, this is kind of giving me Mega Man vibes. It's a little contra, little Mega Man. Oh, that's a warning. Okay. Don't stand there. Got it. Oh no, a fucking drone. Get it. Oh god, what? 
That guy literally came out of nowhere, but alright. Let's see, Sight. Can I- can I iframe dodge the these bullets? I want- I'm curious. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Very frenetic shooting- like, the bulls are so fast! At least mine are. Exclamation equals warning. Yeah, I stood there because I was like wondering what would happen. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably bad. I'm fine. I don't like how those enemies, the melee enemies, like, pop out of the boxes and immediately melee you. This game seems to have a very unforgiving pace, in my opinion. I don't know. Like, first impression is... Like, I understand what's going on, I know what I'm doing, I know what the enemies are doing, but it just kind of feels like it's in fast forward. It feels like things are moving a little faster than they should. Especially just for the beginning of the game. Hello. Just, let me just stab back and do this. You're <laughs> not terribly dangerous from distance. I even climbing the walls confusingly fast. <laughs> Alright. That looks like I need to always shoot or I'm probably gonna get hit by something. I like how the best way to fight this enemy is just stand off screen and shoot it. Yeah, this feels like a game where if you're not shooting at all times, you're making a mistake. Yeah. Ow. Damage seems forgiving enough, though, I guess. Hello, Papa Links. How you doing? Where are those other attacks coming from? Hey, who's doing that? Stop that. Ow. The last time I went saw a game with a dodge move that didn't have iframes. This is very tight. You have to be very... Like, it's a pretty quick dodge, so... It doesn't also travel that far, so timing the iframes is a little tricky. It's not the worst, but yeah. Really? But, wait. Oh, you do slow down a little bit when you shoot. So, th so after teaching me that I should shoot at all times, the game punished me for shooting. All right, got it. I guess I should have no known that if I'm crossing the bridge, I should stop shooting. I don't know. There could have been enemies as I crossed the bridge. I'm not sure how I feel about this so far. What do you guys think about it so far? I mean, there's a lot going on. There's, it's definitely exciting, but is it really... Ex like, is it exciting exciting? I'm not sure yet. It, I don't know. I have this weird feeling like the game's pace is so fast I don't really get to appreciate it. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it does... I mean, it's... it's 
we'll see what happens when it comes to like bigger enemies, bosses, and such. Oh, well, that's, okay. This is kind of interesting. All right, I'm out of truck now. Do I want to go with it or? Okay, I do. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was like wanting to go that way, but yeah, okay. All right, all right. You're changing up the environment. That's good. Blew that up. I mean, I could use the sword when those guys dash into me, I suppose. That might actually counter their attack, I'm not sure. Seems like it'd be logical. If I have to get Slade's face, or if it gets to my face, I should I should just use it. It doesn't look like it actually really slows down my fire rate, actually. Hold on, wait a minute. Maybe that's the key here. Wait, can I cut bullets out of the midair? Let's see. Oh, I can deflect the bullets! Even better. Okay, okay, hold on. The sword needs to be used more. Wait, does that mean I could? No, don't, don't, don't admire the of the mines. Okay. Well, the sword does deflect bolts. Okay, so I could do, I could do deflections with that. All right. What happened? <laughs> and then the plan exploded. <laughs> I still don't know why this is called Soda Crisis. I mean, that's Chinese. And then Soda was ev evicted because the explosion or at least fizziness into the into the in the, into the into space, which was then consumed and accu accumulated and consumed. <laughs> I'm eating a cinnamon roll. Be envious. Hi. Just like before, okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Complete the test and you get a can of ice cold. Well, sounds like a good reward to me. Okay, this is a weird time to have a tutorial, but all right. I'll blink. <laughs> like, wouldn't this make more sense before the, uh, whatever. Like, I kind of already learned the, the jumping. <laughs> I kind of had to. Let's try something new today. It's right there in the box. What? This is definitely kind of weird. It is a gun. Oh. Base fire for general performance costs very little energy. Counter attack pistol, during counter times, rate chance 30, rate chance damage 50, counter attack, be attacked with counter time, charge attachment. Hold the fire button for a while, we can fire three bolts. So there's different weapons? Fair enough. How do I, uh, equip it? Oh, okay. Aragon is not yet better. Uh, that, that, that has not changed, really. He's just kind of tired. So. Hmm. Weapon, primary weapon, primary weapon, attachment, passive eye, probably a secondary weapon as well, some other stuff. Okay. So there's some actual proper stat building here going on. Like, if you look at this menu, too. Walking speed, riding speed, counter time. So we we kind of played. Was it like were we like playing an overpowered character? Is that how the game started? Maybe that's what the game was doing. Like a little overpowered start. Drill only open once. Okay, yeah, sure. It is Chinese. That makes sense with the. Uh, Again, I don't really know why I'm being told this. I already had to know this stuff, but okay. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's. I've had a few people asking how Aragon's doing, and the answer is that nothing's changed, really. Sadly. I definitely have less health. So we were playing an overpowered character, I guess. 
And now we have like less health and stuff because I'm actually getting kind of beat up. <laughs> the OP star was a bad idea. The game seemed very generic for me. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. If, if it's this is like I did not expect this to be a game where you where we stat build and work up from, you know, it didn't. Some games can do the overpowered start thing right. I don't feel like it. I feel like it just confused things here though. He's been sick for the week, the last week, unfortunately. He just isn't feeling better. Thanks for your concern, it's just, uh, yeah, there's no updates, and there hasn't been for a while. He's just kind of perpetually not sure how he feels, like he's like his body's fighting something, he's a little feverish, but it's just not clear what it is. Look, I I was taught all of this stuff in the over in, like in the previous section. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know, man. This tutorial is just very weirdly placed. Upgrade module, cruise performance. Okay. Teach me about upgrade modules. Okay. Oh, and also there's batteries. If you look at the upper left, one of three. So if I equip this, it costs a battery. So we have a number of batteries. We have like slots. We can't just equip anything. We got to consider our battery usage and we have a cap on that. So, okay, fair enough. I mean, I understand what's going on here. I've seen it in other games. Kind of used to the iframe of the dodges now a little bit. Alright. The trades these dev investors have very short to dispense any reminder of things shortly. No, I don't think there's any sort of like cultural, like, assumption being done here. Probably. How long is this tutorial? It's kind of long. Especially with the intro section already teaching me things. Auto fire. It's about automatic weapon. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I would prefer that. Good, that'll be all for today. Here's your reward. Soda. Subject X. You know what? Come on, zero cows all we got today. Ah, yuck. I wouldn't want that either. Still won't go back? Hey, two, get the X back in there. It's finally got it. Hey, boss around us like this. Let's get that over with. I guess, are we fighting now? I guess we're fighting now. Oh, okay. I was like, "All right, I'm doing your tutorial. I'm I'm gonna pay attention. I'm gonna do what you say." But oh wait, you're only giving me zero. You're giving me zero calorie soda. Well, I'm rebelling. <laughs> the fuck is this vehicle? All right, I'll take it. <laughs> oh no. Well, let's try that again. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to be able to climb that, but I'll take it. Moral of the story, have sugar the sugar he drinks. Or else you'll die. Or at least quartz are. <laughs> Lab, base level. Okay. You completed the test. You shouldn't be here. Go back now! No. What's this? What are we, anyways? Are we a robot or like what? Furnace. I'm finally out. Okay, do me. <laughs> do me? Was it you who freed me? 
Good! <laughs> Good! I'm the Lord of Destruction! Hi there, Doobie, the Lord of Destruction. You wanna sing the Doom song? Doom, da doom, 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 da doom, 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 da doom, doom. Now get me out of this human and gloomy place, okay. Hey, it's still being developed. You can't take that. I totally can, though. HP Booster S, simple HP Booster increases the survivability on the field. Okay, sure. Oh, interesting. Preset options. Wow, it has something over Elden Ring. <laughs> Sad truth. Wait, hold on. Oh. Hmm. I like survivability. Even if it means I have to press the button now. Oh, we're silly. I'm sorry to hear that. This is J Lab. Think you can just come and go as you please? Yeah. It's called J Lab, and that means like that means like joke lab. It's in this place is a joke to get out of. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure showed them. Why do they have so why do they have recite wait? First off, why do they have an acid pit? With so many recycle trash cans, like here, why? Why so many trash cans here? What's this? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. I guess that's important. Do I have a map? I'm actually wondering if this is like a little metroid -y. I don't think it's Metroid-like. I'm not sure. It means I can turn down back the auto fire. Cool. Good night, Pia Priscillian. I've activated j -Lab's defense alarm. It's still not too late to turn back. The defense alarm? Oh no, it's an alarm that's gonna make alarm sounds in defense, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what's, the, what's the point of that? Oh god, okay. Um, I... that was not something I expected, and that could have been better choreographed, but alright. Everybody gets to die. All because I didn't want that soda. Wow, that laser wall was not much of a threat, actually. Did it stop? I think it stopped. Map percent win. Yeah, I'm really wondering if that's how it's gonna go down. I guess we'll see. Fire rate upgrade. Fire rate cost additional energy. Okay. I mean, that's that's cool. Oh, wow, that costs a lot of energy. Eliminate all targets! Okay. What are the sites is holding? Can't even tell. Is it a kind of a gun, I guess? Not even sure they're attacking me. Oh, randomly I can break the background, huh? Come here. Secret? Secret. So there are secrets? Should I be looking around? Hi. What the hell? <laughs> Four dimensional merchant! Hey, old friend! All right, you haven't met me this time yet. Uh, okay. I have a radio teleportation beacon. I uh, thanks for that. Now you can use blue cubes to trade with me at any time. I was wondering about those. 
Or upgrade the little TV sidekick of yours. I know, TV, you have a lure of distraction! Okay. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, I can buy the I can buy more energy. Uh well that's fair. Hmm. Well, I would like that. <laughs> Hmm, I can also buy the range upgrade. Yeah, I'm down. I reduce my HP to have more range. Wait, hold on. Huh. Need one more. Actually, I could also just... That seems worthwhile. <laughs> Never mind the range, I guess, for right now? Hold on a second, actually. I'm just gonna see something. That makes that a proper SMG. If I turn this off. Okay, that, I do need the auto-fire module on. Okay. Let's see, how much is it for the other one? 600? Okay. This seems good, though. I mean, I do like the upgrade system so far. Seems fine. It's not terribly... Oh my god, what? Oh, sniper, okay. What I don't know, understand is like, is there secrets? Like, if I is there anything down like here? If I went down, or would I just randomly die if I fell too low? Okay, it probably would. At least the edge of the screen makes it a little more obvious. Yeah, have an actual auto fire, like a proper auto fire, is definitely helpful. Wait, there's a yeah. Ah, see. So there are secrets, you gotta keep an eye out for them. I'm not really sure what the stage design is. Is it completely linear? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I don't I don't know about this counter type thing. I It's a mechanic, I don't know how much I care about it though, admittedly. Oh shit. Wasn't expecting a ninja, gotta be honest. Fortunately, because of the fire rate increase, they do not take long to take out. Triple fire. Oh. Two additional bullets. Really? Uh. Okay. I don't know if that actually pairs too well with the rapid fire. I think it creates burst fire, which I prefer. I prefer cost of fire over burst fire. Also, that ambush ninja was kind of a dick, dick placement, honestly. Alright, we want to look around for secrets in each room, which are not terribly hard to find, I think. I hate burst fire. I don't- I, I think I hate- well, yeah, I think the reason is because there's ebb and flow to it. There's always going to be those moments where your bolts are not firing, which might suck. <laughs> might be exactly when you need it, and it just doesn't shoot you. Oh! I expect that guy to dash off the ledge just to do that. Okay. Good. Energy. Hmm. 
means I can put this back, put, put this on. Now we're in good shape. Now I got the range as well as the damage. This should, this should help immensely. By the way, I don't know if it's you noticed, but it is technically possible to shoot the angle, but it's really hard. For the most part, I'm not bothering. Yes, the analog stick doesn't make it easy either, by the way. Buzzsaw's on a, on a wall? What is this, Super Meat Boy? Actually, it does kind of have that pace. Is there anything over there? I'm suspicious. Oh. I see. Actually, I'm still suspicious, but I think I think it's fine. You see, they've underestimated you in the testing area. Based on the testing area. This is as far as you go. It's still out too late to turn. Why are we rebelling, though? I just don't understand. Also, what's this? Oh, okay, just straight up increase HP. Seems good. Knew it. Boss? Technically speaking. Technically speaking, kind of a sub boss, I guess. Not much of one. Granted, I did already equip some good shit because of planning. I sacrificed HP to do so. Uh, grenade. Okay. Can I just equip that? Yeah, I can. How do I use it? Oh, okay. Wait, what was that? Blow up the wall of what? Uh, maybe... Maybe... Weapon. That's the right grapple. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, the sword was... Oh, the tactical item's the sword. Does it hurt me? I need to know if it hurts me. Ow. Okay, no, we're not grenade jumping. <laughs> we're not grenade jumping. That would be a very much no. Oh, good. Oh, why do I have a grappling hook? I was like, suddenly realized, oh, I, maybe that'll help me find secrets, actually. Definitely should use that. I don't know, it just hasn't come up. I was like, I wasn't thinking about it much. I can use the look around a bit. Damn it, how'd you even get here? By walking. That bunch of mouth breathers. When you come back down, maybe we'll give you some can of, still give you can of soda to the cola tomorrow. What is up with you and cola? Go back now! This is the next time, I'm leaving. I can find better soda out here. Okay. Actually, I, I take that back. I think Diagonal Fire is just an incidental thing that happens sometimes. I don't like the grapple button. 
It's supposed to make mechanic that lets me save myself and stuff. And it's set to Y. Which I don't know if, I guess it works, but it's not very really, not a very great reflex button in my opinion. I could rebind it, maybe. But the way the controls are set up, I'm not really sure what I put it to. Huh. Okay, that doesn't even have collision. Interesting. Ah, th those blue things are grapple points. Okay, that makes sense. I can, I can get used to it. Juice slap? I mean, that would almost work except for this is soda. Hmm. What if I put this on now with everything else? See, that just turns into burst fire. I, I feel like that's a DPS loss, that. That triple fire module. Which is kind of weird, but alright. My HP booster back on. This seems okay. I don't know. It's not really. Le it's not. This game is not really locking in an impression with me. It's it's fine. Oh god. They could kill each other. Good to know. Wait, why is? Look at that. The left is so staticky. Why is that? Look at look how staticky that is. I don't know if that's coming through on the video, but this wall is just really staticky for some reason. Huh. And that's what was that one. I thought maybe it was indicating a secret, but no. Doesn't seem like it, at least. Sorry. Rockets seem kind of dangerous. Is this like a secret? Because it feels like it should be. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, that I almost killed myself. <laughs> All right, then. You know, the, the item of acquisition thing is annoying at this point. It's way too long for how frequently it shows up. Opening the uh, items. Turbo boost, left foot. Left foot only, huh? Feels like you would slip if you activated that. Not so much for HP, I want speed. Ah. For once, I was right to look up. I guess we're doing this. Ow. Dying doesn't seem to really serve up a penalty, I notice. I'm curious about something. Wait. Hold on. Oh wait, I can't open it. I was wondering if I could open it again. <laughs> that would have been exploitative. Oh. I'm not actually dead in sleep, I thought it was. Also, this is gonna be- I told I get these guys drops when they die, so. I literally have no reason to fight them. Neat. I didn't even realize that. I actually thought I had to kill them to get their drops, but no. <laughs> Barely not. It's like Elder Ring. Something just randomly falls off a ledge and you get credit for it. Rage Converter. Converts rage into weapon performance. With suffering damage, fire rate plus three, fire damage plus three for three seconds. Huh. 
That could be useful, I suppose. It's the least better than Super Metroid. That was maybe the slowest I've ever seen. Slowest, uh, slowest what? I wonder something. Nope, oh, okay. Merely was curious if there was anything up there. Acquisition. Oh! Yeah, but Metroid spaced out their items more. I mean, that's true. What the hell? Okay, these guys just. Love to run into me, apparently. Oh, I almost bombed myself. <laughs> yep, here he is again. Let's buy the... Blast can max HP minus 75, firearm damage plus 50. Imagine like glass hits a cat can. That that is tempting. That is very tempting. Doesn't even cost any energy. Upgrade module, just upping damage. Oh, I think I'd rather just have that. Hmm. So I can't buy the energy capacitor. Oh, oh, I'm so close to being able to afford it though. Oh, that's lame. Oh well, I'll buy the firepower. And off I go with the boost, I guess. And uh, reduce my fire rate, increase my damage. That seems like a good trade-off for the moment. It's still a good rate. Piercing rounds. Colt, Colt, piercing is nice now and then. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait. A realization. Safe place. Not only a safe place, but they're slowly killing themselves. I was being too reckless. I was like, I'll just shoot back and forth, it's fine. I just realized this, this is still a good quarter for this phase, too. I, I, what is this added? What is the goal here? Unleash the scientists from the vents! A curious decision is all I have to say. Why are they in the vents, anyways? <laughs> 
that. Hey, yep. Grapple up there. I wanted to look up there, but eh. It's back here. They're very signposted secrets, aren't they? Speed trigger. Oh. That's if I want a manual fire, which I don't. Ow. These, these gravity shifty bots are actually kind of annoying. They're pretty good at just running into you. That's a lot of things waiting to shoot me. Aha! This one wasn't signposted, but I still noticed that I can go back. Two batteries? Is that two batteries? No, just one. Kinda looks like two, though. Um... I need one more battery before I can, uh... equip the other thing again to get more damage. to wait. I mean, this is this game is fine. I just don't feel like it's inspiring. Oh, that seems kind of dangerous. All right. I'm sorry. What pushed me backwards exactly? I don't know what happened there. Oh, this is actually a good time for me to check something. So 828. Okay. I got stuck on the barrels and then got rejected backwards. I think physics hated me. Also, I want to see something. I'm correct. Hey, you can farm. If you if you find a room that has a lot of energy, gather everything in it, kill yourself. You'll keep it. You'll keep that currency. You'll keep the currency when the reload happens. I just tested that. So a room like this actually would be very beneficial to me. All I have to do is just let myself die at the end. <laughs> Since there's all these shop upgrades I can't afford, this actually... Yeah, so like this like this room seems pretty good for it, actually. Considering we're just flying through a bunch of enemies. So like, this is a good room example of how you could take advantage of that. I'm just gonna do this a few times. Because I have to admit, I'm annoyed that I constantly can't afford things. Especially, the, I need that energy that I, they, they were selling. That would be useful right now. Let's just, be, let's just make it so I can afford shit. What an what a exploitative system, though, that I could take advantage of. Crap, this is this is actually pretty profitable. How much, how much are we getting per run? Well, we started at 1201 on this run, so let's see. Basically 1200, so. From 1200 to... Okay, not as much as I thought, but it's over 100 each time. That, that 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 certainly does add up. It's not very. It doesn't take very long, too. So.
That was quite an interesting flip the forklift did. One, two, three. There's probably more lucrative rooms than this, but let me get 2,000 I'll move on. This is clearly a system they don't expect. So weirdly enough, weirdly enough what this means is that the player that plays poorly and has trouble and has to replay rooms more often, the player that is more amateurish will actually get more money. That's not necessarily bad though. Basically, the more trouble you're having, the more money you'll have to spend in upgrades. Technically. I don't know if that was an intentional system, but it kind of does help the player that's struggling. Anywhere you could die quickly, but also rack up stuff quickly. Like, this is probably one of the better rooms for it. Given the layout, given the number of enemies I'm running into, and given that it only takes a second to murder myself. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'll just stop at 2,000. That'll give me a nice little head, head, like a little bit of a boost for the next shop, which I will play to probably. Okay, come on, dude. The scrap at the beginning is very awkward, though. Actually, I'll stop at this run. This is good. We'll get pretty close to my goal. Good enough. Defeat boss. Sure. Why not? Can I buy some equipment first or Nope, I guess not. Alright. I didn't think you'd be able to make it this far. This is the end of your luck. Researcher one, you're our arch -diffuses. Wait until you researcher two though. Uh oh. <laughs> Anime glasses, alright. Invincible robot! Pro invincible! Con none! Okay. Yeah, that's very invincible. Oh. Oh! He actually went up the wall to chase me there. Whoa! Okay. Watch out. Where, where are we going? Oh shit, he landed on me. Oh well. There are too many explosions, I couldn't tell. Bye. Okay, okay, stop, we surrender. Even if we don't have regular cola, the aliens took them! Hey, why don't we work together to get those cola back? <laughs> As I guess your goodwill, this is for you. Alright? <laughs> aliens, why? What? Submachine gun. Okay. Let's see. Cool. I was okay with the auto pistol, but I'll take that too. I guess that's how we get to the alien part. Fair enough, I guess. Ow. Ow. Train room. Oh, okay, sure. Why not? Why not have another one? Alright, let's see here. Damage 10. Hold on a second, actually. Damage. Oh, it's still damage 10. Huh. Do I want the submachine gun? I mean, obviously the submachine is gonna shoot really fast. Hold on a second. Uh, fire rate upgrade. Range. Basically. 
Like, I'm honestly wondering though, is the value of the submachine gun gonna be... Like, if I could stack the same upgrades as with a pistol, it might be better. But the pistol costs two less energy. Which may really makes me think, like, I don't know if that's worth it. You know? <laughs> Well, I guess I could just check it here, technically. If these aren't supposed to be test dummies, why are they shooting at me? Uh, I guess you want to test that. Okay, so like, right now, I can kind of get a step of 11. Let's try... Let's let's save the... Uh, let's save the loadout, actually. How do I do that again? That's how. Like, that's more fire rate. <clears throat> Good night to you, Blink. But, like, I don't know. I, I still feel like I like the pistol more. Welcome to Core Lab and J Lab. They have exploited most of Umbrellio's cola. That's terrible. Exploited? But the ships are impenetrable for the outside, and the fizzy goodness protects them as a shield. We have to find a way to get inside the ship. Get the sad coke headquarters from Carbonic. Okay. That's the alien's next target. Get to the beacons through deployment terminal? Okay. So this is the game proper then, finally. So we had this like little rogue outbreak for the labs, but it's all good we're now, or now we're calm, I guess. Game sitter. It's her cartridge. You have to equip the game cartridge ready first. Oh, okay. What, what game car game cartridge? I guess I can play... What? Arcade games, I guess? I don't know. I'm, I'm a little surprised there's not a shop here. I thought I was looking around, I'm like, clearly this is the hub area, so where's the shop, you know? I guess we only get the shop in levels? Okay, what do we have here? Test seat sitter, base level lab core. Okay, so we can actually go back to... TV series too. Huh. All right, suburbs. Let's do what? Let's do a little bit more. We'll go a little bit over time just so I can check out a few more things. I want. I want to get that one attachment to do a tons of damage and feel good. So I guess that. What the hell? The aliens are tardigrades. Huh. How rude. So this is a very cola-based society. Water bears, don't where they like hate soda, they like water. Hmm. hmm. What are we? We're not a human. We are instead of weird beanbag. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Attach? Okay. What? Oh, I'm wall running. Okay. Ivy's for 2000. It does look familiar, actually. Maybe that's where I'm thinking it from.
Yeah, I don't know why they made the cutscene for the boxes. It, it, it's dumb. It shouldn't have a cutscene. Every single time, too. Bolts, rounds enhance damage via gravity. While aiming down, bull damage 40%. That's kind of interesting. That's a potential to be an interesting upgrade. Down here. Oh, nothing. Death Pit! Yay! <laughs> yeah, this game feels alright. It just doesn't. It feels like it's lacking something. I can't quite put my finger on it. I guess some sort of. It's not really unique, I guess? It doesn't have anything that makes it stand out. It's doing this. doing what it's doing well enough, but. Aside from these fucking treasure chest openings. Huh. Increased damage to shields. Zeri? What, what was that dramatic reaction? Oh my god, it's Xerix! <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> I was very confused about that room. Shop? Okay, no. Zeri from another streamer server. Oh, cool. Rise of the Guild Masters, huh? What's that? Mm. Oh. Whoops. Oh, well, it's not instant death. Interesting. Highly confidential. Achievement unlocked. Uh, base of movement. Skill development confident and fill allows you to invade incoming bolts to a certain degree. While running, incoming bull damage 40% and impact 25% less. Oh, okay. Well, I am running quite often, so that could be useful. Uh, how do I get back up? Oh, I see. That's annoying. Actually, yeah, I don't entirely know how to get back up. I guess that's one way. Oh, Pokemon D&D. Neat. Oh, so I Jackal and Rage. How's everybody doing? How did I jump that? <laughs> oh god. That guy really gets moving. Cutscene. However, I do need that battery. Uh, 
Oh. Am I not allowed to use the shop because I attacked that enemy? I see. A jackal. All right, I can afford the thing now. I just need to take off my boots. So now I can put that firepower up right there. We go. And now I will kill things efficiently, more efficiently. It feels pretty good in this game, I'll say that. Finally, the shop. <laughs> Gimme. Also, I will buy... Allows fire in all eight directions. Oh! It has to be unlocked? Uh, okay. Hmm. Enables manual reload. What's the point of that, exactly? Jetpack, air jump. Oh, an air jump. That sounds very useful. Yeah, honestly, glass cannon seems like a good purchase thinking about it, because, like, if you think about it for a second, if you die, you just reset the room, but you keep all the stuff you got. So dying isn't that big a deal, so you may as well be a glass cannon. Picking carefully. I guess the neural implant. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> there we go. And what do I want to put on? I want to put on glass cannon and the jetpack. Use the battery I just bought. <laughs> And now I should be doing insane damage. I probably should stop soon. I'm gonna beat this level and then we'll call it. Yeah, that's some pretty good damage. And I'm dead. <laughs> Last cannon! <laughs> Worth it, I'd say. Aw. I thought it was gonna hit the core of that platform. Alright. There's no worry about glass cannons, though, is that I could probably murder people before they murder me. You gun. Sniper. It's really... Okay, so... Hmm. I wonder what the general damage of that is. It's higher. That actually might be worth switching to. Later. I, I'm kind of- I'm really on the fence about this game. I'm not sure if I'm like, oh, I want to keep playing this, or if I'm like, nah, yeah, it's, it's okay. Like, I'm really on the fence between- this is perfectly fun for if you- if you're into this sort of- want to play this sort of game, that this is cool. Then, and a little bit on the side of- I do kind of like the upgrade system, like, I do like- you're constantly getting new stuff, you constantly can customize, I do appreciate that. They have an air jump, I forgot about that. <laughs> really should use that. 
Alien hom- that's what this game makes me think of a little bit. Alien hominid. Yeah, it lacks spec- it's strange. It, it's doing a lot technically correct, but... Kinda just does- what is this? I'm a- I'm a will. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm just like, alright. <laughs> oh, I can still air jump as a will. That's kinda convenient. <laughs> Oh god. Halo Hominid is a pretty good game. Full time. That's nice. Bye. Wait, what? Oh, I broke it. Cool. <laughs> Neat. Yeah, the key is here. I I don't die if I kill everything quick, quickly. Ah, uh, enough. I think I prefer. I think I prefer taking like having no health in this game. Actually, I feel like that. I think like adds, it adds to it a bit more where you can't just take bullets. Especially when then the best strategy becomes frantically murdering things before they get to you. Like, I kind of like that. It's a better pace, actually. Seriously, though, this cutscene. You can actually skip it, but you have to hold down a button and it takes a while. Which is kind of pointless for a skip function, actually. It's one of those cases where you press the button and you have to hold it and then it skips, but that's a really slow skip. Lethal hook. Any damage to any shields. Okay. Like, bosses are going to be actually threatening, but... They won't last very long, that's the thing. They won't last very long, that's the... Did I just kill the... Oh, I didn't get the goodies, though. Ooh, wouldn't that be silly if you kill the boss, which probably drops you a ton of stuff. You kill the boss, right? Die. Get all the boss drops a second time. Unlikely to be possible. Actually, oh no, I could have, baby. I mean, I don't know how much the boss drops are, but that would not be a terrible idea. Fire two bolts per shot with equally divided damage. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, this game is just kind of okay, but it's not doing enough to, like, maybe go, like, oh yeah. Like, this is the sort of game where I could play it all the way through, probably have a decent time. But then once I'm done with it, if somebody asks me about, hey, what happened in that game, I would just be like, frankly, I don't really remember. <laughs> Get to say in the factory, okay. Hmm. This is one of those games where it's like, there's absolutely nothing really wrong with it, but there's absolutely nothing really memorable about it. It's what I would say. Mega Man Zero? Oh yeah, I would definitely prefer that. That has way more personality. Also, the music is doing nothing for me in this game. It just kind of exists. It works. It really doesn't do much for me. I do have to say, it, has, it actually has gotten an elevated a bit since I turned on Glass Cannon mode, basically. That does actually enhance the experience a bit.
Just electronica. I mean, it, it's battle music, but it doesn't really do much for me. Yeah, that is as quick as I could skip that cutscene, by the way. I just tested it. Uh, Dagger. Okay, that's cool. How much is this game? Soda Crisis? Let's look it up on Steam. What else somebody want to look it up? Damn it, I wasn't trying to vault at that time. Actually, I want to check down there. I thought there might be a secret. Nope. Wow, that didn't insta kill me. Sort of surprise, yeah, I'll be honest. 11 bucks? Ah, that seems fair, yeah. Oh my god, what is that thing? <laughs> it's a man hack. <laughs> it really just it, just, it just fucking came right for me. What was the point of that? <laughs> what was the point of that exactly? But yeah, honestly, like, when you look at the level design, thinking about it, like, visually and environmentally, everything's fine here, but, like, when you really think about it, this level design just exists. It's, there's not, there's nothing noteworthy about it whatsoever. Chinese game. Why does the game sound Chinese on the buy button? Yeah, it's in China. <laughs> it's a Chinese video game. It was originated from there. It does have English, obviously, but yeah. I mean, I'll give credit. There's a lot of there's a lot of customization being offered here. So credit where creds do there, but. seem to do much with its concept. And I'm really getting sick of the box opening. <laughs> Any kills reset jump and dodge. Well, I prefer just having a double jump, but alright. I, uh... <laughs> alright, I'm into the... I'm going in the boxes. Don't mind me. I, I, I'm a ghost. <laughs> okay. Guess I wasn't supposed to be there. Oh, I missed. Downward fire is not as nearly as effective as just shooting side to side. Send so you a picture of the page. Oh, thanks, I guess. Ah, oh, so I just need to know the price. Which I appreciate you telling me. Oh! That wasn't even aimed to be. Alright, <laughs> I didn't even see that bullet. <laughs> Oops. Mm. 
There is much resistance here. Yeah, also these levels got a load of enemies. Shortcut! <laughs> Actually, I was just kind of looking around, but. Ah, I see. Yeah, this is. I would say this is. Like, hearing it's $10, I'm just like, yeah, it's. Yeah, okay. I have no, I have no complaints about it. Oh, so hi, Esler. Hey, dear Tubby. Oh, Tubby has friends today. Oh my god. Just hit him. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Downward's fire is probably the least safe way to attack enemy. Especially in glass cannon mode. Can I break into this box? Alright. <laughs> Sniper rounds. Bulls with a travel is greater than 6.5 deal 30% additional. See, that's probably useful for me. But I need more batteries. Look at that one. There we go. Suddenly the game got really stingy about those, I noticed. Batteries, that is. I mean, there's, it, the game does give you tons of options, and rather quickly. Right, I'm just curious. I'm gonna try this out, see how good it is. Out of curiosity. Again, like I said, I'm just trying to beat this level. Which is still going on, but, you know. That seems pretty good, actually. Like, if the hits land, they hurt, so. That did not work. Speaking of things working, that didn't. <laughs> How's everybody doing, by the way, that's been joining lately? Oh, we're getting real technical up in here. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly the platform we got more intense. <laughs> I was a little caught off guard by it, actually. <laughs> Damn it. Watch laying in bed, feeling sick, being chill. Quite a mix of things there for you guys. 
Well, those of you feeling unwell, I hope you feel better. Or in Ferris' case, gain recovery. Alright, I have my foot in the door now. Good. Is that it? Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. After running for a longer period of time, you speed up. It's like the it's like that one dash from Super Metroid. This is worth ten dollars. I don't feel particularly amazed by it, but I do think it's kind of fun. I'm a little confused about the le level length, though. I thought this level would have been over by now. Oh well. Maybe I should just quit, actually. Move on to the next game. We do have other games tonight, after all. I would like to show those off as well. Let's see. I want to see one thing. Oh, I can't afford it? What? Ah, okay. Yeah, that's good. Split around seemed like a good option. I think I'll stop here, though. Uh, return to base, retry level, retry for strength. What is the length of this level game? Okay, I'm at the boss. Never mind. Cola Gangs Ground Troop Com Commander. Cola Gorilla. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, Spiku Balls. Oh, I can't use them for very long. Okay, gotcha. Alright, let's beat this boss. That's good. Ow. Ow! Ow! Oh wait, they call this a cola gorilla? That's what they're calling it? Oh, that's lame. You know why that's lame? They missed a better pun. Colorilla. Or colorilla. Like, it's so, it's so obvious. I can't quite tell what hits his shield and what hits his... health bar. That's kind of random, actually. Goodbye. <laughs> Core module slot unlocked. What's, what's that do? What's that mean? Mm -hmm. Tetra greatly performs the improvements, improves the performance of the fair armor, and the cost drastically increased power consumption. Well, yeah, it costs three energy. All right, I would call that to be a good place to stop. 
I mean, boss, after all. <laughs> but yeah, Soda Crisis seems decent. I, I feel like it's it's definitely doesn't have a spark of. There's a there's it it it's doing everything right gameplay wise, but it it doesn't quite land with. I don't know what it is. It's it doesn't have a spark of inspiration that it otherwise could have. The story is kind of. I understand the dialogue being a little flat, being that it's a game that was Chinese and it's it has kind of a general rough. English translation, so I get that, but, like, it's okay. Like, the gameplay is doing everything more or less right, but it, it doesn't quite grab me, I would say. I, I felt grabbed enough to want to keep checking out the uh, upgrades. The upgrade system is the enthralling bit. Like, if you play it, that's the thing you can look forward to. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's ten bucks, so I think if, if this is up your alley, if this is a store game that you really like to play... I think it's probably a kind of no-brainer purchase if you want a nice, competent game like this. So check out Soda Crisis in that case if you're interested. Otherwise, you know, maybe look for something a little more unique.